Hi, welcome to my channel where I meet well-known experts in topic of parenting. Today I'm happy to introduce Jack Newman, who is a well-known lactation expert, Canadian pediatrician. He has a huge clinic in Canada supporting breastfeeding. The conversation is dedicated to his new book, which is called What Doctors Don't Know About Breastfeeding. In today's conversation, we're going to make a deep dive in the topic of what doctors don't know about breastfeeding. Doctors uh, probably, in essence, believe that breastfeeding either works or it doesn't. And if it doesn't, we have such good substitutes for uh, breastfeeding. One of the things that's not taught in medical school, for example, you know, you don't learn or you should learn, but we don't learn really what is normal and what is uh, uh, not normal. Uh, and normal is breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is normal, so it's not part of the curriculum. We learn about heart attacks. We learn about uh, uh, gastroenteritis. We learn about all sorts of illnesses, but we don't learn about something that's normal like breastfeeding. And the attitude, I would say, of most doctors is, well, breastfeeding either works or it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then we have such good substitutes for breast uh, milk, and so uh, why worry about it? And so, for example, until recently, uh, doctors in training, even uh, people that uh, have their own offices, uh, women uh, were not able to take the time to breastfeed. They, you know, they would take a few weeks off maybe, and then, of course, if they were no longer uh, uh, at home, they back at their offices or in their training, then they had to start uh, supplementing with formula because uh, you can't uh, do night uh, call uh, where you're very, very busy and then take time off and uh, breastfeed your baby. Now, things have changed in some places, uh, although it doesn't apply to doctors. In Canada, we have two years of paid maternity leave, but most health professionals can't take it. Well, they can if they wanted to, but they, they feel they have to get back to the office and so forth and so on, or to their training. And so there's this common idea that breastfeeding is nice, but not necessary. And if it's not working, well, we have good substitutes. In the hospital, you sort of need to fight to breastfeed your baby exclusively. Uh, you need to fight with fight in, a, in not not in a real way but just like make sure and always controlling the staff the doctors the nurses they did they don't that they don't give formula or something else and you sort of as if this is your own business to arrange the breastfeeding this is not the care of the hospital i can tell you that in uh in in, in toronto where i live uh the nursing staff know nothing about breastfeeding. The, uh, you know, I'm not saying every single person, but uh, the vast majority do not trust breastfeeding. They know that there's no milk in the first few days, which is actually not true. Uh, they know all sorts of things. They, they find ways of supplementing babies. Uh, for example, oh, your baby is uh, 2.9 kilos. That's small for gestational age. Actually, it's not small for gestational age, but 2.9 kilos. Oh, your baby's at risk for low blood sugar. We better give them some formula. Even though if they knew something about breastfeeding, they would know that uh, breast milk is far better way to protect uh, the blood sugar in the baby than formula. So the ignorance among the nursing staff, the even lactation consultants, and of course, the doctors are completely ignorant about breastfeeding and how it works. 